Let's uh, go to a new point, okay? Now everything is clear what we are speaking about. Now, okay. About the Quran, what? Okay. Yeah. Jesus is, is, is the word of Allah. Okay, do you believe in the Quran? No, do you believe in the Quran? Okay, let me tell you, let me tell you. The Quran also tells us that Isa Islam, Jesus people was a prophet. The Quran also tells us that Jesus was the son of Maryam. Okay? The Quran also tells us he never died. So do you believe everything in the Quran? You don't believe that? No, no. Okay. Okay, was he a prophet? No. Okay, you said Jesus was... He did, he did, he did no, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Was Jesus a prophet, yes or no? He prophesied. No. Answer the question. Was Jesus a prophet, yes or no? Not just a prophet. He was more than a prophet. So he was a prophet. Yes, and more, more okay, so when Jesus was a prophet, was he God as well? Yes. So he was God and he was also a prophet. Do, 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 so, so are you telling us, so when Jesus, you just said was God, he was also a prophet, so was Jesus his own prophet? In one sense, yes. In one, in one sense, yes. Okay. Okay. We God. Muslims. Uh, I know that you okay. You we Muslims. Muslims. Listen, they, my friend. We Muslims. We believe that all the prophets they were sent by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, God Almighty. Okay. Yeah, we believe that all the prophets they were sent by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by God Almighty. Now, Jesus was a prophet. Yes. Not, yes. Not, not, not just a prophet. Okay. Not, but you agreed he was a prophet. Yes. Okay, listen. Do you believe in your Bible? Okay. In your Bible, any Bible, in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verse 57, in any Christian Bible, Jesus is quoted as saying, but Jesus said to them, only in his hometown and in his own house is a prophet without honor. Jesus, peace be upon him, is speaking about himself. So he is agreeing he is a prophet. Okay. So if Jesus, now in this verse, Jesus does not say he is a prophet and God as well. He just say he is a prophet without honor in his own hometown, in his own house. He, if, yeah. So is Jesus right? Yeah. Is, is that verse in the Bible true? He's not denying that he's a prophet here, okay? Yes, but is it true? No, no, is it true? Is that verse Matthew, Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verse 57, where Jesus refers to himself as a prophet, is that verse true? That he's a prophet, is it true? He's not denying he's a prophet. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm telling yes, you. He's not so, so he's true. Okay. So why in that verse Jesus is, does not say that he's God and prophet? He just says he's a prophet. He's explaining that he wasn't accepted by his own people in that particular locality where he, where he was at that time. And he's but not. He, he wasn't accepted by. His show me in the Bible. Show me in the Bible where it says that Jesus, peace be upon him, Isa al-Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet, uh, was God. Show me in the Bible. He prophesied his own death. He said, he prophesied his own death. He said, Show me in the Bible. Did you say Jesus prophesied his own death? Yes. So are you telling us that God prophesied about his own God's death? Yes. God can never die. Um, no, 
Oh, sir, can God die? The body died. The flesh died. Oh, the body died. When the, the, the spirit listen. didn't die, the spirit raised up. When the your body died. dies, yes. when your body dies, the spirit goes to heaven. listen, okay. When your body dies, yes. they are going to bury you in a grave. Yes, probably. That means you are dead. Yes. My body is dead. So when they buried Jesus in the grave, yes. it means he died. Yes. So we're still alive. So okay, still but alive. the but the body died. Soul, soul is immortal. Soul yeah, we know that. We know that. We know that. Okay, so we know what, that. What, what, what but my point is, how can you be a Christian? You tell people, Jesus was God. He is Almighty. He is all knowing. He is all hearing. He created everything. Yes, he was killed. He makes a joke. Okay, for our sins. So did you say Jesus died for our sins? Yes. Okay, Did okay 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 okay. Okay. Do you believe in? Do you, as a Christian, believe in justice? We Muslim believe in justice. In our Quran, in Surah Al Maida, the table spread. Surah chapter number 5, ayah verse number 8, it talks about justice. In our Quran, in Surah Al-An'am, Surah chapter number 6, ayah verse number 58, it talks about justice. Now tell me, tell me, listen, tell me. So Jesus died for the sinners, yes? Was Jesus guilty of any sin? He was perfect. Did you, did you say man? Yes. Well, you just said God. Now you are saying man. So you make up your mind, sir. Sir, you make up your mind, sir. No, sir. Was Jesus hundred percent God? No, no. Answer my question. Was Jesus hundred percent God? Yes, and also hundred percent man. Was Jesus hundred percent man? Yes, both. That's contradiction. It is. How can he be 100% God, 100% man? That's what the Bible says. But what Jesus, can a man, can, can a man be God? Is, is a man creation? Sabar. Is a man creation? Jesus has the power to give eternal, to give life. Is, is, yeah, go on. God that has the power to give eternal life. My God has the power to kill and to, to make a life. Simple Jesus question. Said, Jesus said, Jesus said, I give unto people it's, it's everlasting life. It's so Jesus, life. Jesus said, claimed to give, to give people life. Do you, believe in the, life. do you believe in the Bible? Did you just say Jesus can give life? Eternal life, yes. You just said Jesus can give yes, life. Yes, yes. And did you and say, and did you say, Jesus created everything. Yes, I, I, uh, yes or no? Okay, God, yes, so yes. did Jesus create everything? Okay, yes. We Muslims believe in our Quran. Do you believe in your verse, uh, in your Bible? Yes? Yes, tell me what you want to say. Do you believe in every verse in your Bible? When I, yes or no? If it is in context, okay? Yes we, or no? We look at the context. Yes or no? Okay, show me your Bible. You, you got one? Okay, from the beginning to the end yes. of this holy Bible of yours, yes. do you believe it? When it's looked at in the context, okay? His historical context. Okay, listen. The, 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 listen. The grammar, Let me make it simple. Our Quran, yes. we Muslims believe our Quran from the beginning to the end. Every surah chapter, Every ayah, verse, every word, every letter, we believe that's how we are Muslim. I am asking you simple question. Simple question. This is your holy Bible. Yes? Is this the book of God? Yes? Do you believe this holy Bible from the beginning to the end? Yes, I'm just explaining to you. It has to be read. Okay. Okay. Historical. You, have to okay. the, you have to look at the grammar. You know, we Muslims. Who, who, who was doing the speaking? Okay. And what it meant to the people that okay. heard it, okay? Do you know? Do you know okay. what we Muslims, 
وٹ ایور اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ٹھہل سین آور قرآن وی بلیو وٹ ایور آور پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم پیس بی اپن ایم ٹھولڈ آس وی بلیو وٹ ایور از ان آور قرآن وی بلیو وٹ ایور جیزس سائز ان دا بائبل ڈو یو بلیو نو لیسن All the prophets, as a Muslims, we know, we say, all the prophets, every prophet, including the last and the greatest of all the prophets, Muhammad, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, always spoke the truth. No questions asked. Always spoke the truth. Did... Excuse me. That's your propaganda. Come back to this. Propaganda. Come back to this. Okay. So, whatever Jesus said, was it true? I keep coming back to the same question, okay? It needs to be looked at in the context. Okay, I'll give you a verse. You can't just take a verse out. So, okay. Okay. Any verse, any verse you take out of our Quran, Alhamdulillah. We accept it. Why? It's from our Quran. So any words I give you from your Bible is your holy book. So you have to accept it. Yes? Yes? Okay, hold on. Sir, you're a Christian. Hold on. Sir, you're a Christian. Sir, let him. Sir, you're a Christian. Okay, you're a brave Christian. Sir, everything Jesus says in the Bible is it sir let me ask you thank you very much sir everything in the bible is true and you're a christian yes sir everything which jesus says in the bible is it true thank you very much that's a brave man that's a brave christian okay that's a christian right next to you okay can i give you the words Can I give you the words? In any Christian Bible, in any Christian Bible, are you listening? In any Christian Bible, in the Gospel according to John, chapter 5, verse 33, Jesus is quoted as saying, Jesus says, By myself, I can do nothing. Jesus says, Jesus, Jesus, listen, Jesus says, I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creator who sent Jesus. Yes? So did you, do you agree that God Almighty sent Jesus? Yes? Yes? Thank you, brave Christian. Yes? Yes? So God sent Jesus. Yes? Yes or no? I just said okay. All right. Next knockout question. Did God send God? No, 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 no. Ask a simple, did God send God? No. Ask a did Okay, that's, they are not one. No, you're not asking, did God send God? Yes or no? Simple. Okay, God was in Jesus, okay? Simple. So God sent Jesus. Yes. yes. So okay, you said yes. Are, are you they said yes. You, you said yes. So God sent Jesus. So God won Jesus too. 
God first one sent Jesus, the second one. So you are telling us there's one God, we say one God, then you said God sent God. That makes two gods. It does. It does. Okay. Okay. Was Jesus God? Yes. Okay. Was? Okay, brother. Brother. Okay. 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 Was Jesus God? Yes. Okay. Was Jesus the son of Mary? Yes. Yes, Mary. What do you mean? I'm not trying to be rude. Why are you just say be brave? Say yes. Was was Jesus the son of Mary? Yes. Yes. Right. Was God the son of Mary? God was Jesus' father. Had a non-biological father. Oh, God was the father of Jesus. Yes. But you were saying Jesus is God. You were saying Jesus is God. Now you are saying God is the father of Jesus. They are one. They are one. They are God the Father. God okay. The Son. So God the Father and God the Son, they are one? They are one, yes. So knock out question, brother. Brother, knock out question. You said God the Father and Jesus are one, yes? Right. So when Mary, blessed Maryam, honorable Maryam, when Mary gave birth to her son Jesus, peace be upon him. Did she give birth to just to Jesus or God as well? The Bible says that Jesus will be God with us. The virgin shall conceive, shall bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. So are you telling is, us, are you, no, Emmanuel, no. He shall be Emmanuel, which is God with us. Did Mary give birth to God the Son, or did she give birth to both God the Father and God the Son? Uh, one or two, brother, one or two. He, he gave birth to Jesus, okay? Which so was, she did he, not give birth to God, God the Father. Was God with us. No, God so, with us. So, Mary did, so Mary did not give birth to God the Father. No, she gave birth to, 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 to Jesus. Not but, to the Father. But they are one, I keep saying So how come, okay, one. he one. said, he is, I got you. He said, Mary, she gave birth to Jesus. She did not God. give birth to God. And then he God, said that God, God the Father and God the Son, they are one. So one minute he's saying God the Father, God the Son, they are one. Next minute he is saying Mary gave birth to God the Son, not God the Father. Pardon? Okay, who are you, madam? Can you? Excuse me. The Bible says, the Bible says, Madam, 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 can you queue up? Okay, one, one against one. Are you a Christian? No, no, I don't. Madam, introduce yourself, Madam. Madam, Allahu Akbar. That's your opinion. Madam, so, madam. Oh, what, Excuse me, we are already speaking. Words. Okay, can you? No, you've got no argument. Well, we you've have, no if you are a Christian, the manners are, wait till we are finished. The Bible says, I do not allow a woman to teach or preach. She must be silent. In the first book, in the first book of Timothy, chapter 2, verse 11, 12. Okay, so you're a woman. The Bible says you're not allowed. Okay. She's debating and okay. discussing, okay? She's not teaching, okay? She's not teaching. Excuse me. Are you trying to take over this platform? May Allah bless you. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, what about Jadakala, you're the referee. Okay, madam. Allah, 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 Allah,
I got this Christian shouting in my right ear, this Christian on my left ear. Which Christian shall I listen? Madam, okay. Ma'am, I am busy, madam. Okay. 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 Hold on. Listen, I'm an old man. Excuse me. You're making me tired. Excuse me. I'm old enough to be your grandfather. Respect. That's Allah tell us to be sabr. That's Allah tell us. Yes, Inna Allah hamas sabr. Yeah, no. Yeah, Allah. Okay, don't worry. May Allah bless you. Okay, Allah tells us about. About. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Madam, we are having. Okay. Anyway. You. How is the breath create the flesh? How does the breath create the flesh? No, let me. I'll have to. Excuse me. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, how can God be so born? The of Allah in the yeah, he was born he because he was a prophet. Ago, Excuse me. Yeah, he, he was a virgin really? birth. Was it a virgin really? birth? Was it a virgin birth? You think so? She doesn't talk. She said, talk, talk, talk. Answer. Was it a virgin birth? Okay. Can you do me a favor? Can you wear a face mask and niqab? That's the order of the day, okay? Niqab. Used to be called niqab. Now they call it a mask. Okay? They used to criticize Muslim women for wearing the niqab. Now they always in a mask. You know? Why? Because Islamic way is so beautiful. Now they don't criticize Muslim women for covering up wearing the niqab. Why? They themselves, the Islamophobics, even they, they wear the niqabs. Okay. Anyway. Can we carry on next week? Uh, next week. Okay. Okay. The Christian gentleman said. Carry on. Okay. We are not carrying on up the Khyber. But as the Christian gentleman said, we will carry on in speaker's corner. Okay. Right. Now. I want to ask you, go on to a different subject. As Muslims, we believe in the whole of our Quran. As a Christian, you believe in your Bible all of it. Yes? It's a different subject. It's a different subject. I'll give you the same answer. If we look at the history, history the context. Simple. Okay. Do you believe in your Bible, yes or no? When we look at the context, we have to look at the context. We have to interpret the text. So he's not very confident about his Bible. No, he has to search know, things. I know that people will take verses okay. and they will read okay. it to them certain okay. things and then they'll bring okay. another verse and okay. say... Let me ask this. you a question. Okay. Do you believe in the Gospel according to Matthew? I believe in all the Gospels. One meter difference, slightly, yeah? Okay. Do you believe in the Gospel according to Matthew? Yeah, but yeah, of course it's in the Bible, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. In the Gospel according to Matthew, right. it talks about Jesus when Jesus was supposed to have been put in the grave, in the tomb, and Emma, I don't jump, my friend. I'm going to ask you a different one. Okay. I'm a Muslim. I'm not lying to you. I'm on the camera. It's a different subject I'm going to talk about. So please, okay, bear with me. Sabr. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in our Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah. I have verse number 153. In the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those who are patient. That's the answer to your one. In the ma sabirin. Surah al Baqarah the cow. Surah chapter number 2. I have verse number 153 at the end of the ayah. Come back to you. Okay. In the gospel according to Matthew. This is our final one. Then we will finish. Okay. In the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1, it tells us that two women, how many? Two women went to the tomb, grave tomb of Jesus, peace be upon him. Because they say he died, he was buried. Okay. How many women went? Two. That's the gospel according to Matthew. Which two women? Matthew tells us Mary Magdalene 
and the other Mary went. So those two women who went, one was Mary Magdalene, and the other woman who went, her name was also Mary, Maryam. So how many women went? Two. That's according to the Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 28, verse 1. But, but, in the second Gospel, Gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, verses 1, verse 2, verse 3. It tells us the names of the women who went to the grave, to the tomb of Jesus. This is the second gospel, gospel according to Mark. It says, who went? Mary Magdalene. One. Number two, Mary the mother of James. Two women. And Salome and Salome. So according to the Gospel, according to Matthew, two women, both Marys. Second Gospel, according to Mark, it says Mary Magdalene went, Mary, mother of James went, but a third woman, Salome, she also went. But Salome is not mentioned in the first Gospel, according to Matthew. Right. This is an extra woman, extra name in the second gospel. Indeed, I haven't finished. In the third gospel, gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, verse 10, it tells us the names of the women who went to the grave tomb of Jesus. Gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, verse 10. Which women went? It says, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Joanna, Mary, mother of James, three, and the others with them. So it doesn't give the exact number of women who went. But Joanna is a new name. Why? Joanna is not mentioned in Gospel according to Matthew. Joanna is not mentioned in the second Gospel according to Mark. But in Luke, Joanna is mentioned. The others, other women, they are not mentioned in the Gospel according to Matthew. They are other women not mentioned in the gospel according to Mark. Jazakallah. I'm getting old. In the other gospel. But in the third gospel, is man. In the fourth and final gospel, gospel according to John, chapter 20, verse 1. In any Christian Bible, which women went, it tells us it tells us only one woman went. Which one? Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. Words of the Christian Bible. Who went? Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. My question. All four different Gospels. Gospel according to Matthew. Gospel according to Mark. Gospel according to Luke, Gospel according to John, they gave us the names of women, different names. Some of the names of women are different. The number of women who went to the grave, to the tomb of Jesus, is different. If the Gospel according to Matthew is from God, if the Gospel according to Mark is from God. If the gospel according to Luke is inspired by God, if the gospel according to John is inspired by God, how come they don't agree? 
with the names of women who went? How come if they are inspired by God, how come the number of women who went is not the same? How? 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 Tell us which one. Uh, I'll come to you. My friend, you are a gentleman. I'll come to you. Yes, of course. You are right, he's a gentleman. But I'm saying especially of you, you are a gentleman. I know, wait for me. I will come to you. I'm there just finishing now. So answer me. We don't deny that there are scribal errors. Errors. There can be scribal errors. So when you... Where are we coming in? Yeah. The Greek text is very flexible. Errors. To do with um, word, 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 okay. word order. And uh, some things affect the uh, uh, emphasis. But um, it doesn't change, doesn't change the meaning. Okay. okay. The, let me say this. The basic truth... That Jesus lived a perfect life. Okay. That he died. He died okay. for our sins. So let me finish. Okay. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. You're he, going to another subject. Uh, let me just finish. Okay. That he lived a perfect life. That he okay. died for our sins. I'm almost finished. Okay. He wrote, he, he, wrote, he rose again from the dead. Right. Right. And he gave right. eternal life. Come back to no, the good. None of that is okay. affected by okay. any Okay. Any okay. Okay. You know. You Greek. know. My young friend, you said that there are errors in the Bible. Yes. I agree that there can be scribal errors. Okay. So there are you, er, okay, okay, sir, are, you, you are, are a brave are Christian. Are you are brave yes, Christian. Are you are telling us yes. that there are corruptions in the Bible, yes? In, in the text, yes. yes. You are but, a brave Christian but, but, in speak. Listen. Now let me finish, I'm finishing. Okay, okay. You are a brave Christian in front of the cameras. You are telling us Muslims that yes, there are mistakes in the Bible, yes? Errors, okay? So those mistakes and, are in the Bible. They don't affect the basic truth. Are those mistakes yes, in the Bible? I tell you what, a Christian agreed in front of the camera, can, there are mistakes in the Bible. Yes, we right, Muslims right. say there are no mistakes in our Quran. I see you around. Allah Akbar, God can't be a lamb anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just a collaborate. Yeah. Okay, you can have a rest. You can have a rest. The truth okay, right. Jesus lived the perfect life. Yeah, you want to the, carry the, on. He died for our sins. Okay, he wanted a turn. Okay, eternal life. Okay. Shall we finish there? Okay. Uh, have I'll a just, nice day. I'll just my point. Okay. No, it's okay. okay. Have a nice day. We okay. finish, yeah? Right. Okay. Have a nice day, yeah? Young man. Yeah. Young man. Right. I've, I've